when you look for yourself online, what do you look like? How are you going to get found by people who are searching for your services? That's right. And what if you don't like what you find when you search for yourself? What do you do? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour, Jr. And I'm Dr. Mark Koss. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay tuned to the end because we have a very special offer for you that you want to check out. We certainly do. So go ahead and watch. We'll see you in the end. How much content is from the point of view, the content you find when you do your search, the point of view of the customer, client, or patient? Yeah, absolutely critical. And it's a mistake that we all make when we're beginning marketers. You know, you know, you starting out, you're trying to think from the point of view of I've got to advertise myself, I've got to market myself. Push so myself out there. The key word in what I just said is myself. I'm thinking about, well, what do I do? You know, I have the best practice, I have this, that, and the other thing. But you have to think the exact opposite of that if you're trying to create good content that's going to draw people in. Right. You've got to think from their point of view, what's the problem that your profession solves, that your business solves? That's really the nature of your business. If you don't solve a problem for the customer, client, or the patient, then you don't exist. Your reason for existence is solving that problem. So you want to be reaching out with the problem with the description of the ideal patient that you want to bring into your practice. After that, you can mention things about your practice once they get there, but they're searching for the solution. They are searching, searching for, the for the keywords about their problem. And do in a similar way to what we're doing. Take questions that are asked to you, as we have done here, and answer those questions and put content out that does that. That's what people are looking for. They're really looking for the help when they get out there from their point of view. So I have a little pain over here. I want to solve my side ache pain or my appendicitis or whatever I call it as opposed to simply saying that you're the best at whatever you do. And that's, so somebody once came up with a really simple copywriting uh, way of sort of checking things that you've written before you put it out there, is to go through the page and put like a red circle around every time you mention me, I, my, whatever, and then go through with a blue pencil and circle all the times you're talking about them, you, your. And if you've got more red than blue, yeah, yeah. you need to stack it very heavily to the blue side to the, than to the red side. There so think go. about it that way that even the, the words you're using have to be speaking about you, your problem. What is it you're searching for? How can I help you? It's exactly. all about you. It is. Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much. And that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample, and we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these, getfound101.com. Thank you.